Now inside that distance formula that we just designed out, you saw that we put in four parameters. So how many can I put in? Well, I can actually put in really as many as I'd like, which means I can put in zero. Say for example, let's think about uh, math.random. Uh, that's actually a method that was pre-built for us, but notice it takes zero parameters. I don't have to give some uh, a method something in order to get something back. Or we can say it takes one parameter. And again, let's think about system.out.print or println or printf. Well, println or print uh, take one parameter. Even though we do string concatenation, we add pluses into there. Um, so even though we do something like hello plus name, that collectively is still just one parameter. Or then, just like we saw with the distance formula, I can take as many as I want. So again, the system.out.printf, that takes a string, and then it takes some large number of numbers uh, or strings. or It takes multiple parameters. It only cares really about making sure that this first parameter, this, instead of zero, we'll talk about those a little later, instead of this first parameter uh, being something I put into something else, it's really just kind of out in its own. Now the other thing to take note of is this returns 0 0.1 to 1.0. Now, okay, the reason why I mention this is these two system.out methods right here, both of these are actually considered void. I don't store this anywhere. I don't, you know, set uh, int x equal to system.out.print or printf. I actually just let these run on their own and they will display to my console. Again, this I would want to store for later use. So this would then generate some random number, say 0 0.3 and put it into X. That way I could then look at X or use X in some form or fashion. This on the other hand does not. So we now introduce this idea of working with void.